Hi guys, this is Fleep, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a little something I've been working on. It is a trainer for a game, um, a very old game, but um, basically what I hope to teach you, if you don't know anything about this yet, is the uh, the basics of creating a trainer for a game. So, for those of you that don't know, a trainer is just something that helps you cheat in a game. So, um, the theory behind it is it gets into the game I think there's different types but the one we're working on is that I think the most common one it gets into the game's memory um, and you modify it you overwrite those values that are in there for example um, a player's health so he's got 100 health you can change that to 5000 or whatever or you can do um, for example ammo you can put ammo really high so they can shoot uh, non-stop kind of thing so um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've gotten quite interested in um, in memory hacking in the last few weeks and um, I thought it'd be fun and I've been trying to create uh, several kinds of trainers uh, for games but they're very difficult especially in the new games so um, they're really hard to, to do because of how games have new ways of protecting memory and stuff so it's really hard to get to those addresses and modify them and anyways so I've got this um, this very early, um, well, not early, old game. So uh, I don't know what year this came out. I'm guessing late 90s, and it's Virtual Cop 2. So um, this is a fairly good game, actually, for when it came out. Anyway, um, it is quite good. And as you can see here, I've done things like unlimited health, uh, limited ammo, credits, and uh, score multiplier. <clears throat> the reason why I chose Virtual Cop is because it's such a small file, and and it really makes it simple to. Um, to hack the game so you guys can download it really quickly and stuff and um, there's not much trouble on either side especially for those um, with weaker connections I was initially going to give you a tutorial of this one um, House of the Dead 3 which I think is slightly better but um, it, the file is 600 megabytes so I couldn't upload that for you because um, most of you wouldn't download it and um, it would just be stupid in that sense so um, what we're going to do is we're going to create the tutorial from nothing, absolute scratch. And um, all you need uh, for this is um, either Visual Studio 2008 or 2010. Um, and you've got to have uh, C Sharp capabilities. So it's got to be either an Express, C Sharp Express, I think, or just a normal one. A normal one will allow you to, to do Windows Forms in uh, C Sharp. So what also you're going to need uh, Virtual Cop 2, which. Um, I'll uh, upload for you guys, and you're going to need. Um, you're also going to need um, this file here, keyboard uh, hook help, which we'll use later on. Keyboard hook. This is a class in which we're going to use. Um, so this makes sure that we press, for example, one, and uh, that turns our unlimited ammo on, and so on, from within the game. So um, that way we don't have to um, come outside the game, turn it on, and go back. Um, turn it um, to use it so that's where our hook and we're also going to use um, memory class this class handles writing to pointers um, and reading from them uh, you'll see how it works as we go along for now these are irrelevant if you're not um, too experienced with these things these are relevant I'm also new with this so I'm only doing this for you guys because um, well it, it helps me understand it a bit more and you know it I think it's kind of useful because when I was looking for stuff I had to read loads of tutorials and stuff and it was really difficult to get stuff going so um, I'm likely to make mistakes in this but what I can guarantee you is we're gonna have a, a trainer working by the end of the tutorial um, a fairly decent one I think anyway for you know for a game like this so um, what else let me think every now and then I've got to look at my laptop here on the side because um, that's where I've got um, the notes that I'm going to follow for this tutorial. I, I know most of the stuff. So what you're also going to need is Cheat Train, um, uh, Cheat Engine, sorry, and that's this prog program here. So if you Google that, you can easily get it. And we're going to use that to get um, the addresses within the game to hack. Um, so I think we can get uh, started with this. So first thing I recommend you to do is download this uh, file here. I should have a zip. Uh, it zipped in the uh, description there. Um, so it should have all these things in there. So I'll let you know whenever we need to use them, so don't worry about that. First thing I recommend you do is just install Virtual Cop here. Um, I don't know if you can have any problems with this because um, I've installed it in two different operating systems and it, it was really smooth, so I don't think you'll have any problems with it. It's only um, altogether, I'm guessing, what, 
uh, just over 12 megabytes so it should be quite straightforward for you so first thing we're going to do um, is I'm going to show you this in action so uh, is virtual cop so we're going to load up the game okay so let's just load that up I've turned the sound off um, because I don't get in trouble for copyright or anything like that alright so let me just run this um, so we've got to run this here we go let's get rid of this um, so here we go um, first thing that you'll see is um, if you see right here you've got the ammo so I'm shooting these guys and the ammo's coming down so um, I wanna turn limited ammo on I'm just gonna press one and there we go and what this does is it keeps spamming six rounds into the revolver here so it keeps putting six runs in there every 250 milliseconds I think so this way if you can hear me I'm just spamming the left mouse click I'm not going to reload and I'm just hitting it and it's not going to come down now I'll turn it back off quickly and there you go it asked me to reload so that's my um, my limited ammo now I'll turn it on again because it makes things easy for me so next thing you know someone will shoot me my health will come down so I'm going to turn limited health on and what this does is just like the um, very similar to the revolver um, it keeps spamming nine lives on so they can shoot me as many times as they want uh, my lives are not dropping from nine so if I turn it off here we go they're coming back down again so the next thing is um, the unlimited credits uh, it works the same way there's no point in me showing you it but it works the exact same way you'll see um, just get that here we go so what happens here it doesn't change immediately like the others because it's the way this game works um, it's a bit silly really but it's just how it is not much you can do about it but it does say 8 there but as soon as I die again it will say 9 and then jump down to 8 again here we go watch this there we go see 9 and then back down to 8 so that's fine so we'll turn that off and we'll leave it now next thing we've got is call multiplier now no point in me showing you this now I'll show you when we do it um, so we save a little bit of time but basically what happens is we can press plus oh, we can press we can press plus on the um, numpad and uh, or minus and it will just uh, increase it so you'll see our, co our score we only can see um, when we die but you'll notice if you put like huge amounts you'll see massive amounts of score like um, I had three million in there when I was messing about with it so um, that's about it uh, I also did one for um, for House of the Dead, that was the one I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I'll show you a quick uh, use of that. I don't want to take up too much time because I uh, will just um, increase the time of the tutorial. So let me just load. I would definitely prefer this one to the one I did there, but um, you'll see why. Okay, so Fraps died on me there for some reason. Really weird. So um, just showing you this again. Uh, well, all I'm going to show you is basically uh, House of the Dead here, the trainer. Slightly different to the slightly different to the one for what's it called virtual cop um, the only difference really is uh, as you can see here auto fire at the end you don't have that on the other ones um, so I'll show you here you don't have auto because for some reason I couldn't get it to work but that it doesn't really matter because um, you know I guess if I looked other ways of spamming the mouse it would have worked but um, for now I'll leave it out so here we go um, that's irrelevant, I don't care about that. So as you can see here, I'm shooting them, everything's fine. So let's just turn limited ammo on, exact same way of doing things as that one. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so I'm just spamming the mouse. Next thing you know, we turn auto fire on. So auto fire on mixed with um, unlimited ammo, then all you do is you leave your mouse in the middle and just kills everyone that comes in front of them. So get that out of the way. And I think it's quite cool. So if you turn the limited ammo off, he has to reload by himself and that's just how it is. And I think the auto fire is a really cool thing, but um, for some reason you can't do it in every game because um, I tried it on a game slightly newer than Virtual Cop, like Halo, and it worked really well. So um, I don't get why it doesn't work, but it's irrelevant really. And I just wanted to show you this one because this is the one I wanted to show you guys um, for the tutorial. But uh, either way, if you are interested in any of the code for this one, I can show you. So let me just close this one. Yeah, I, I have no problem sending you that. Um, so if, if one or two people ask, I can put it in the description as well, but I won't put it by default because you might not be interested in it. So we're not doing house today, but we're doing a quite quite a good one as well. <coughs> so let's start with this. So first thing you got to do is you got to start a new project, Visual Studio. You got to go. Um, 
file new project and you want to make a Windows form application so I've made a folder where I can put this, so I'll call it memory hacking in my desktop but you guys can just put it in your normal folder um, I want to call this one virtua cop to trainer okay so we got that there and here we go um, so like I said every now and then I've got to have a look at my um, my laptop on the right here because um, I've got some um, well a di different display and stuff and some notes and uh, what to do so I don't waste any time for you guys and the tutorial isn't much longer than it should be so first thing we've got to do is um, double click here um, alright so we get access to our code and um, like I said you should have the um, the folder with the files here so what you gotta do is you gotta get these two files copy them right, and um, put them in the folder where you've got your project so my one is memory hacking but yours is probably in uh, uh, your documents visual studio whatever you, um, you're using so 2010 for example and then it'll be in the exact projects folder put it in the same folder where you've got um, program.cs and uh, where your folder bin is and all that so just paste them here okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to add those classes um, so let's just um, go here that's my old one it says house of the dead here because it's um, it's a kind of a copy of the other one uh, so first thing we're going to go and do here is add existing item and we're going to select one and then hold CTRL control and then select the other so we add both of our classes and we need these immediately because um, we're going to use them to for the main stuff really for hooking keyboard keys and um, and for injecting not injecting but overwriting memory okay so just leave them there we don't need to touch them for now um, next thing we have got to do is we have got to add the uh, usings um, there's certain things that we need uh, to use in our um, in our code so I'm just gonna leave a little bit of space here so you guys can see exactly what we need so using the uh, system dot diagnostics diagnostics and then go using system dot uh, runtime dot interrupt services now we need these uh, for a fact because um, these are used to uh, write pointers and stuff um, and anything to do with pointers I think you're pretty much stuck to using interrupt services and then you've got using system dot globalization uh, I think this one is used for um, our um, hex to decimal uh, conversion uh, method that we're going to have later on because we need um, a special um, object to use that uh, so using system.threading now threading is for let me th see if I remember um, threading 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 um, well I don't quite remember actually uh, it's been a while since I did this so I don't quite remember I'll let you know when we get to it though um, so next thing we've got to do is uh, we've got to write our main global variables so we've make sure you've got these four classes included um, well usings included and then we're going to go to um, just below partial class here that's where we're going to create our global variables so we'll be using something called region here region global variables so now region is used um, I think mainly for um, to keep code tidy really um, you don't have to use it but I tend to use it I have started recently anyway uh, because I think it helps me out. I can minimize stuff and only use what I want. So first thing we're going to do is going to go. Oh, um, we're going to uh, declare the uh, memory variable. But one thing I forgot to tell you guys: you got to go quickly into your t keyboard hook class and your memory class, and you got to make sure they have the exact same namespace as this one, as your main form. So form one. So go there, get that, and overwrite this okay and then just click here and rename that so that makes sure you have access to that um, class so then you go memory memory here we go my memory um, equals new memory and just open and close that <coughs> next thing we're going to do is our proce process process um, array and this all this does is hold our process my process so the games window the virtual cop game application um, it'll store that um, we, we'll make it um, an array because we might want to um, make uh, a trainer for 